Today I'd like to tie for you an ebony jewel wing damselfly. I'm going to start out with a needle in my vise. This is a medium sized needle. I'm going to use clear mono thread. I'm going to attach the thread towards the front of the needle. Just a few wraps. And we're going to remove that. We're going to make the body of the ebony jewel wing and this is the metallic green to black damselfly that you see flying around. We're going to start with, I have three strands of peacock hurl. I'm going to start by attaching this and we want the body to be one and a half to two inches long. I'm going to leave about about an inch off the front. I'm going to tie this in just three or four wraps. Then I'm going to take about ten strands of green crystal flash. And I'm going to tie this in with it. I'm going to leave uh, some off the front, just like with the peacock hurl. And I'm going to wrap this open spirals to the back. And we want to keep that crystal flash more or less on the top. Like I said, we want about an inch and a half to two inches of the body. Now I'm going to take this excess and I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to run the thread back down. And this time I'm going to keep most of it on this side since the first wrap, they moved over to the far side. And we're using the clear mono thread so that we won't see it. And we're going to stop it. You can see there, it's going to slide around pretty easily. We're going to stop right at that tie-in point. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim this off but not real tight. I want to leave a little stub on there. I'm going to take that crystal flash. I'm going to shorten it just a bit. I'm going to leave it just about the length of the peacock hurl. Okay, now I'm going to give it a whip finish right there. I'm going to use my fingers so that way I can make a big enough loop. And tighten that up. And we're going to remove that thread. I'm going to put a small amount of head cement right on the top, but you don't want to get it on the needle because you don't want it to stick everything to the needle. I'm going to slide this off. And here we have our body. And the hook we're going to use is a standard dry fly hook. This is a size 10. Okay, now I'm going to use black thread. And this is 8 aught. I'm going to start the thread behind the eye. And I'm going to come back about halfway on it. And we're going to remove that excess. 
to I'm going to bring my thread back up to the front section and we're going to put eyes on it first and the eyes I have are plastic bead eyes damselfly this ebony jewel wing has a distinct set of eyes so we're going to place them on make sure you get them even in the middle I'm going to take a piece of foam and this is the sticky back foam this is black I have a cut at an angle going to secure that right there in front of the eyes and we're going to come back to the halfway point going to bring my thread to the back side of the foam get a little bit more of a base there I said that this uh, dragonfly is you know the metallic green so I have a hackle that has the metallic green you can see the color in there and I gave it the crew cut I'm going to tie that in right behind the foam and just leave it hang off the far side I'm going to take my body I'm going to tie that in right behind the foam and I'm going to leave that big section there so we're going to fold that over the foam I'm going to take my hackle pliers and I'm going to wind the hackle and give it one wrap in the back and we're going to make the legs here We only need a few wraps on this. And we're going to secure those. Keep that body, the extra body material, out of the way. Now for the wings, here I have a furnace hackle and you can see the large feathers. You can see all that green in there. So I took a couple of them and I cut them to shape. These are really soft stems so you're not going to get the stems spinning anything. Here we go, I cut them to shape. I'm going to tie one in for each side of the foam. get that in the back and I'm going to tie the other for this side
not real necessary to have a lot of hackle. I got plenty there. I'm going to take the remainder of my peacock hurl and two of them will be fine. I'm going to tie them in and I'm going to wrap that up to the eyes. And we're going to have the thorax. secure them and remove the excess now we're going to take our foam we're going to fold this over be careful of the sticky stuff And we're going to tie that in right behind the eyes also. And we're going to remove that excess. You can just cut it even with the eyes. Now we're going to take that excess We're going to take the excess peacock hurl and crystal flash and we're going to fold it over. And if you get a couple of fibers of the wings, not a big deal. We can just trim them off. And we're going to remove that excess. bring our thread to the front and I'm going to wrap enough to kind of hide the hook there a little bit and the hook eye itself will act as the mouth of the fly go ahead and give it a whip finish and put a little bit of the head cement on there I have to thin out my head cement it's getting stringy and these these damsel flies the adults are really only available to the trout as dead ones or crippled ones so you don't have to have your wings perfect like you you would see them so because if they're dead or crippled they're going to be the wings are going to be every which way and here we have an ebony jewel wing Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave questions, comments, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.